I'll draw stuff real easy today. We are going to draw a chess castle. So I'm going to start off thinking about the bottom of this chess piece, which is a circle. And if this was the square, then it kind of stands in the square. And there is the circle. But we're going to draw it from the side. And when you draw a square from the side, uh, this square turns into a kind of trapezium or a rectangle or something. And the circle turns into an ellipse or an oval. So we're going to start off by drawing the square. And we're going to imagine that it's heading off these lines are heading off to um, a perspective horizon line about there. But our square is going to be a bit like that. And um, we have to fit our circle into this square. So it's not going to be a circle, it's going to be an ellipse. Because we've twisted it to look at it from the side like that. So let's have a look. We've got a little kind of bit there that goes in, around and up. So hmm, let's see what happens. Imagine this has kind of got a spindle right the way through the middle of it. So from about the middle, we can put that up there as a bit of a guide up the middle. Um, and we've got a, a little bit that comes around like that. And then it's going in, which is going to be something like that. And then that is then coming around. And then it's got this lovely sweep that is going up probably to about there, I should think. Something like that. It feels about right. It's coming across to there. Which means then we kind of got a, a curve around about there. We've now also got, I think that can come up a little bit more seriously there. Now we've got this little kind of. Mm -hmm, I don't know what you call it, uh, a little n nubbin thing coming around there. Now up at the top here, um, we want to see all this going on. So we've got a little bit that's so it's going to be wider here. Oh, it's going to be wider here. Um, and then it's kind of going out a little bit and then curving in again. So that's going to be in a kind of a curve like that and a curve like that, which means then this is going to be the bottom part of the kind of the tower rampart <laughs> or whatever we want to call it. So that will then come up to about there. That's going to go around. I think this can be a bit wider actually. We'll go a bit wider. And that will then go around the back. I would imagine it's coming around the front there as well. I think it can go a bit taller as well. Um, so this will be kind of the front top of the castle, like that. And we're going to want to have ooh, little crenellations coming in the, like that. And that will be there and there. Actually, let's make this a bit more definite here. Because this is going to be around like that that and then we're going to want a kind of a thickness to it there good so I'm going to draw a little line across there and down and across and up and then in there and down there and the same thing here across down across up and there and then down and across and that means that we can draw the front of the top of the castle there this will come around to there, down, across, up. Come around there, down, across, and up. And then that's going to come just around there. So this can then come around to there, and then down. <laughs> and this can come around to there, and then that will be there, and down. And that will take us around there, and then that will just show us kind of the base of the inside of the castle tower. Now bring those two lines down there, and then we can join them up like that. And then we want this kind of curve coming around like that. We can dot that away to nothing there. Bring that down as a nice little curve there, which will be joined together by a curve. And then bring this down to there, that down to there, and again we'll join these up with a curve. And then we want that little kind of ring going around it like that. 
haven't got that in the camera. I always do things like that. Right, bring that down around there. Bring that down around there and join them up as well. And then we want to bring that around and that around. And then we're going to want to have that there. Let's just finish up by drawing in the square that it sits in. And then, because you didn't draw too hard, did you? You can erase all those pencil lines. Making sure first that the ink is absolutely dry because you don't want to smudge it all over the place. Now, I think we can put a bit of shade in there, and a bit in there, and a bit down there. And I think we're going to want a little bit of shade just down there and some in there perhaps and then I'm going to put a little bit of shade in there and we're going to want some underneath here as well so it's getting kind of slightly longer like that and we certainly have a bit of shade underneath that little ledge there and then I'm going to bring just a few little dots down the side there and again I don't think we need a huge amount underneath there and we've got some shade underneath here. So I'm going to put that around under there. And then some, we'll have maybe a bit of shade in there. Some there. And then we're going to want to have a little bit on the square, as it were, to put the chess piece on the board. And that will kind of anchor it to the table. And I'm just going to. Add a little bit more there just because I feel I want to. <laughs> there you go. How to draw a chess castle. Real easy. Well, thanks for watching. Please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. You can support my videos by following me on my Patreon page. Put your drawing idea requests in the comments box below and remember to keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.